Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and Revisiting the Work of Dr. Stephen Glatt, Ph.D. Revisiting the Work of Dr. Stephen Glatt, Ph.D., but before we get to Dr. Glatt, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, I've been around a few preludes in my years, and this one is particularly luxurious. It's kind of like a, um, what, a Michelangelo sculpture? Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Very luxurious. Where me and the bird. Sculpture. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. I don't own any sculptures. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Any chance you own a sculpture? I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. My grandmother owned a that's sculpture. That's a lot of Gavin and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Not today. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. So I did a brief written Q&A <clears throat> with Dr. Stephen Glatt, oh, about nine months ago, and I just want to um, revisit his work. So again, uh, in the description box of this video will be a link that takes you to the interview. And Dr. Stephen Glatt is a leader in the world on psychiatric genetics, including on schizophrenia. He's a PhD at SUNY Upstate Medical uh, College, and uh, he is uh, one of the best. And if, if you're wondering about the etiology, where schizophrenia comes from, I think the genetic explanation is the most um, convincing. So in this interview, he explains uh, what they think the etiology of schizophrenia is, so that's kind of neat. Um, so uh, you're going to want to read that on the etiology, and... Uh, Oh, the other thing is, is uh, he wrote a book, not for uh, academians or not for PhDs or MDs. He wrote a book called Schizophrenia, and in parentheses, Facts. And the book is intended for persons like uh, you and me uh, to get the very basics, the very essentials on schizophrenia. Um, it's not scientific in its content, and it's intended for the general public so that if somebody has schizophrenia or they're affected, somebody in their family is affected with schizophrenia, this book would be ideal. It's called Schizophrenia, and in uh, parentheses, it's called Facts. And it's akin to my The Essential Schizophrenia Companion, and I wrote this um, also for just anybody who would want the essentials on schizophrenia. So I guess me and Glad, uh, Dr. Glad have that uh, in common. We kind of wrote a similar book. All right, so the... Uh, uh, the link will take you to the interview, and uh, I hope you read it about the etiology. Very fascinating. Genetics is an amazing science, emerging and proliferating, and uh, that's it. The Essential Schizophrenia Companion. The Companion. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you read Dr. Glatt, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.